Hey everybody, welcome to my beginner's guide for installing mods in WWE 2K17 on the PC. Now before we get into the thick of things, you're going to want to go out and get a handful of programs that you're going to need in order to install, open, and use these mods. First of which are the prerequisite programs which you likely already have installed on your computer. You'll need either WinRAR or 7-Zip for extracting the mods once you've downloaded them. Then you will need to have Java Runtime Environment installed on your computer in order to use Cave Wave Rider's data editor. I recommend downloading these from Ninite, which is a safe and secure site that isn't going to install spyware or malware on your computer like some of these other less reputable host sites tend to do. Now on to the meat and potatoes, the tools we will actually use to install the mods. First of all, you're going to want to get Cave Wave Rider's data editor. This is what we use to modify and create POFO files. I'll explain what POFO files are here in a few minutes. And second of all, you will need custom character tools by the Visitor X, which is the program that we will use to do the heavy lifting, the actual installation of the mods. You can get both of these from Smack Talks. And third of all, you need to download a hex editing program. I highly recommend HXD. Don't worry, I know you kind of panic when you start to hear hex editing. It sounds like some pretty heady stuff, but don't worry. If you have to hex edit anything to install mod, it's only going to be a handful of numbers in a very specific place, and I'll be detailing that for you very soon. So pause the video now, go download and install all of that stuff, and then hit play again once you're ready to rock and roll. Now before we install any mods, you need to replace the chunk cache bin 1 and 2 files with blank files. You can find those in the download links in the liner notes here. Back them up someplace safe on your computer and replace them with the dummy files found in the download here. If you don't dummy out those files, your game will crash on launch. But do note, once you replace those files with these dummy files, your game's going to take a lot longer to launch. I'm talking two, three minutes. So be prepared for that. Don't be alarmed, your game hasn't frozen. For the sake of this video, I'm going to be installing a port of Dave Batista's 2K16 model. First things first, I'm going to run through the basic file formats you're going to be dealing with when installing mods. They're all very simple, all very straightforward. First of all, your pack files, which contain the model information and texture information of the character you're trying to install. They, on average, will range anywhere from 7 to 80 megabytes in size. They'll have a character number, which is the specific slot they're being installed in. The end digits of every single CH pack number end in either an 02, an 04, a 12, a 14, a 22, a 24, those are the different attire slots. Basically, a CH that ends in an O2 is that wrestler's in-ring attire. The CH that ends in an O4 is that wrestler's entrance attire. 12 is the second attire. 14 is the second attire's entrance attire. 22 is the third attire, so on and so forth. It's all really simple. It's just basic division of 10. And all of the pack files for characters are located within wherever you've installed Steam, WW2K17, pack file folder, CH folder, and there they are. The second file type you're going to be dealing with are POFO files. These files contain the relative information of that superstar, their height, their weight, their call name, the city, state, location they're billed from. And third of all, the moveset file, which I think kind of speaks for itself. It's just the moveset for that particular wrestler. So with those explained, before we begin the installation process, the first thing you're going to want to check to make sure is that all of the numbers are the same. You need to make sure that the number of the POFO corresponds with the CH number of the mod you're trying to install. So we see these two are the same, but that isn't enough. You need to make sure within the data of the actual POFO file that number is the real number. Because you can run into problems where that number isn't the real number and you install the mod 
and you have conflict somewhere and it creates a big issue for you, big headache down the road. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up Cave Wave Rider's data editor and open up that POFO file within the data editor. And you see it's opened up and that number is the same. Right here in this field here, it's the same. So this one's good to go. We don't have to change anything. But if you did need to change something, if that number wasn't correct, you just hit this menu here and slide down or up to the right number that you're looking for. Select it and then hit save. I'll be making a detailed video on how to edit POFOs in the near future, but for now you're just checking to verify all the information is correct. If it is, you don't have to do anything. If it isn't, save it and use that save POFO file to install the mod. The next step is very important. Before you install or mess around with anything within the file structure of your game, you need to back up your save file. Now, most of the programs will do it themselves, but it's always a good idea to have a redundancy in place in case something goes catastrophically wrong. So navigate over to your Steam Apps folder on your C drive. Find the folder numbered 510510. That's your WW2K17 save folder. Right click, make a copy of it, and back it up somewhere else on your computer. Now we're good to install mods. Now the actual installation of mods is really quick and really painless. We begin by taking that pack file for De Batista, right clicking on it, copying it, navigating over to where we have WWE2K17 installed, Clicking on the pack folder. Clicking on the CH folder. Then just right click and paste. You've just installed the pack file for Dave Batista into your WW2K17 game directory. Now we need to install the POFO file and the moveset file in order to get your WW2K17 game to recognize that pack file. So fire up Steam, launch WW2K17, let the game load your save file, leave it on the main menu, now launch custom character tools by the Visitor X. Click on POFO file, select that Dave Batista POFO file, Click on Moveset File, select that Dave Batista Moveset File, then click Install. A message will pop up saying that it's been successful. Now once that's done, switch back over to your WW2K17 game, navigate over to Edit Superstar, then just change the heel or face of any superstar to make sure the game saves. Then we navigate down here and we see Big Dave Batista has been installed in the game. Fire up a match, make sure that he works, and there we go. Blue Tista is in the game. It's as simple as that. If something goes wrong along the way, you'll know because you'll get an infinite loading screen. So you know that something is off with either the POFO or the pack number of that wrestler. I'll be doing a video in the near future covering troubleshooting with installing mods, any of the issues you might run into. So if you're having some problems beyond this basic modding, you might want to check that out. Up next, I'll be doing a video showing you guys how to hex edit, how to install wrestlers in different POFO slots, how to create and install your own POFO files. So be on the lookout for a lot of tutorials headed your way. Also, it's of note, you're going to want to keep track of and follow the memory sheet by Possum. Ideally, you want to make sure that the mods are installed in the proper locations. We sort of have a uniform methodology of how we install mods. This stuff is still up in the wind right now as of today, so these particular slots aren't locked in, so I can't show you that aspect as of right now. But as things go forward, we're going to see a uniformity, which specific slots to use for installing specific wrestlers. 
so keep track of Possum's memory table, as well as be on the lookout for his Pack Plus program, releasing very, very soon, which will also have some fantastic features. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments section. This is a guide for beginners. There's no such thing as a dumb question, so feel free to ask away.